Ryan Higgins, thanks for joining us. First day of pre-season training, uh, back out there on grass. As a bowler and someone that's been kind of doing a lot of graft in the winter months indoors, what's it like to finally be back out there on grass? Yeah, very exciting. Um, I think basically the whole of last night I was, you know, getting built up for this day and I, I know it sounds a bit stupid but it's like you're almost like a little kid in a candy store aren't you just waiting waiting to get out there and yeah it's just, it it's just makes all the hard work in the winter you know you know that it's about to come together and um, yeah it's all worth it really when you get out here your mental side gets a bit easier. And how is it coming out for you? Um, yeah a few bad ones a few good ones but um, yeah not not as well as I probably would have liked but at the end of the day it's the first first session on grass so it could be worse and it definitely hopefully can be better you mentioned your uh, your winter over the last four months no overseas travel for you so you've spent the bulk of that time in the indoor school at Lords yeah. how much time have you actually had to kind of prep for this in terms of getting your arm over yeah, look, we've bowled, we've bowled a lot. We've bowled three to four times a week, um, so it's been good, good um, preparation to get out here. But yeah, it has been at times challenging. You know, bowling at the end of the net and trying to sort of see the light at the end of the tunnel, I suppose. But that's what indoor training is. You know, the fitness side of stuff we've absolutely nailed this year. I think um, as a squad, I've like very rarely do you see so many lads putting in in the winter. I mean, not that many people went away, and people who were away were playing. You know in big tournaments so it's amazing to see and, and I suppose that made the guys back home even hungrier to try and try and get to where those guys are. Um, last year obviously you rejoined the club, uh, you've got a full year ahead of us now, we're back up into Division 1, how much are you looking forward to the challenges that that's going to present? Yeah I mean I'm, so, I'm very excited, um, Division 1 is, is a different place to play cricket, you know the wickets generally are a little bit better. Um, but we'll see what happens with the, you know, the new point system. It might might change things again. But um, I'm excited for the challenge, and I think as a team we we're, we're all excited. Really, I, I don't think there would be a single guy in the dressing room who's who's not excited to be in Division One and back up there. I suppose here you go. The pinnacle of every first-class batsman's career is to aim for international honours. Um, we've obviously just seen one of the greatest tests ever finish. Uh, down in uh, Wellington. What did you make of all that and what do you make of the way that England are kind of trailblazing the way in Test cricket's played? Is that something you can kind of take into our domestic structure and, and re, re, reinvent, if you like, the way we play the game or is it business as usual? I mean, I think they have, they've taken the game um, a long way in such a short space of time. So for me, it's just difficult to, to know how I can um, put my stamp on that kind of style of play, if that makes sense, at the moment, because I, I think literally, you know, every test match they've played has just been like unbelievable. I mean, to think that, you know, in 12 test matches, there's been probably five of the best test matches, test match wins in the history of the game is incredible. And even in the last one, you know, the loss, but it was like the most, I was buzzing to wake up and watch the highlights. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, I suppose that, that sums it up really, you know, like staying up a bit later to watch a bit of test cricket, waking up early to watch the replays, you know, that, that in itself probably says a lot. No talk of John O'Ball or Ramps Ball yet though? No, no, no talk to that, but we're, you know, just a couple of games in, you never know, do you? <laughs> Here you go, three weeks time, we'll be just over there uh, facing Kent in our first pre-season game. Yeah. How ready are you for that and how much are you looking forward to that? Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting out, getting out and playing a game. You know, um, it's been a while. It always feels like a long time in the winter, even though it's probably not as long as you think. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the next three weeks, trying to sort of hone the skills and um, getting ready and prepared for that. Good stuff, well, mate. All the very best of luck. Hope the next three weeks go well, and we'll catch up with you when the season gets underway. Thanks very much. Cheers.